pub is a place um, for young people. It started as a place for young people, um, age 8 to 25, to give them something to do, somewhere to go, get them off the street. It was originally a betting shop. It was classed as one of the most deprived areas of um, Wigan and it needed something for the young people because there was a lot of trouble on this estate due to the young people having nowhere to go. There was vandalism, robberies, you name it. There was a lot of trouble um, about nine years ago. It was, it was really bad, so I've been fighting and they got this place now for the young people to come to. Um, teenage sessions, majority of it's chill out because um, they are either had a hard time at school, um, high school, or, uh, exams or whatever. Um, so they come here basically to catch up, chat with the mates. Um, we do educational uh, fire awareness training. We've done at the fire, local fire stations with them and army training, uh, paintball. Uh, we do a various wide range but we also give the older ones the opportunity as well in like a mentoring where they can come and work with the younger children. When I was living in a different state, um, I heard about a few different youth pubs. And I was walking past, and I now live around here, and I thought I'd jump in and say hello. And everyone seemed friendly enough, so. Um, I've been rock climbing, um, doing football, and things like that. It's got pool table, and plus, you can watch telly, you've got computers. Play pool. Well, the computers, talk to friends. So are you going to become a volunteer at the hub? Hopefully. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And what age is it that you want them to work with? Preferably 14 plus. Why do you want to do that? Uh, challenge. It'd be interesting. Um, I know there's a shortage of people who are willing to work with teenagers. Cameron. Sarah. <laughs> Sean. <laughs> um, have somewhere they can actually go in when it's all sorts of weather. Just have yeah. little facilities like playing pool. Sure, There's a bit of a shortage of those kind of facilities. Chill out space. Chill out space. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to music and have access to the internet. I bother getting up in the morning. It's no word to laser. Well, what's made them like that? They've been bummed all that. Well, they're not allowed to get a bloody school. They've been going to school all the way through it, apart from until year 11. And they've left, and left, they've left too early. And like, they've gone to a routine, not getting up early in the morning. And they just can't bother getting up and going looking for something. So it's like breaking, like, it's become like stopping up late at night. Yeah. yeah. Sleeping in bed during the day. Yeah. Get, up early, get up early in the morning, come here in the morning. Yeah. And get people actually. It's not going to cost you nothing if you're looking for a job. Get up early in the morning. Open this early in the morning get people to come to you in the morning and do it every now and again. Do you think everybody can get up? I would. I don't know, but we can try and get him doing it. Yeah. But I'm going to put your taxes on that guy. Oh, face is too small. Do you uh, not think then? No, because you think about it, 500 pounds, plus you get your taxes and everything to off you. So that's leaving you 300 pounds, plus you've got to bring children up, insure your car, tax MOT in your car, um, food and house, let's just do water. I am. So what and plus, think about it, if you smoke as well, so you spend a lot more money. What's the song? Talk. So what's the, that's the answer, actually. Yeah, no. Yeah, just to, to do that training and get yourself a job. Okay, to That's my Cameron. Um, and again, about changing that perception um, in community that, you know, very negative young people, they don't really do this and they don't do that and all they do is cause problems. Well, actually, young people are a part of this community. Um, and they can and do positively contribute to this community um, and sometimes they just need that direction and support and encouragement and hopefully that's what this project has done. But I think this project has a substantial positive effect on this community in many, many different ways, in many different knock-on ways if you like.
Right, what do you think of the hub side? <laughs> yeah, it's good. What, 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 what do you like about it? You just have to speak to that, don't they? They're going to be getting right into it. Go. And um, <laughs> what, 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 what um, do you do when you're there? Oh, yeah. Um, if you weren't there, what would you do? What's your name? Ellie. You'd be on the streets, you'd be roaming the streets, you'd be making a nuisance. Kicking football through smashing windows. Smashing bottles, playing football through yeah. windows. Fronts. Just things what, you it. know, antisocial behaviour. You know what I mean? That's what it'd be. But he's getting right like that into it. Kicks you off it. the streets, you know what I mean? Trouble free. <laughs> Out of trouble with the police, you know how it is. You're getting right into it though. I do think it's done quite a lot for the community actually, because I have like, lived around here for quite a long time and I've not seen a lot of teenage children, uh, teenage children on the streets as much as you, you did you used to do, which obviously they're still there, but a lot of them are attending there. Um, so really, it is, it is. It is, it is keeping a lot of children off the street. Like, I don't know how many attends, really, but how uh, many are around 50 to 100, whoever attends and how many days in a week. It is doing some benefit. It is keeping a lot of children off the street. You can't keep them all off, like I said, but it has made an improvement yeah. in that way. <laughs> Well, I think it's important also because obviously it's giving them somewhere to come again to interact with older people, building skills, learning skills, on maybe becoming youth leaders, or because that again is important, but also combating antisocial behaviour. So, to me, a place like this it's, it's really worth having something like this for the community and the interaction from again, can't stress enough, getting older people involved with younger people on skills based learning uh, because there isn't a lot of things happening for them, they're in that lull, they could, they're too young to go out clubbing and so places like this, it gives them something to do, it gives them opportunities, not only just in leisure, it gives them the skills for further education, work. All sorts of all sorts of um, opportunities can come from places like this. God, did you fall in? No. <laughs> Who fell in? Um, Warren, Rach was fine. Joe fell in. It's a good fun, Rach. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. Well, good fun, Helen. Good fun, Helen. A lot of places in England, the young people who get to nuisance behaviour and criminality because there is no place and no provisions for them. Um, so through the hard work of many of the adults in the community, the young people, uh, Groundwork become a delivery partner for a national based organisation called YouthWorks. Now the project that these young people have been involved in is in another called Buzzy Mates in Wigan. We've also set up another group called the Community Hall, and that's from all different groups that we can join um, to come together as one and help the environment. It's actually local people, training local people um, with the skills to, to better equip, if you like, um, the facility to, to run to support the local young people. Um, that takes time and it takes money and we've had a good run and we've got quite a long way down the route and there's a management group now who is set up in order to take over um, the management of this. But they still need support um, and they still need help and I think um, you know people need to realise the good work that's been going on here. Yeah, it's raising money for activities and eventually we're going to have to take it over at the end of June. So we're trying to get money in to pay for the gas and electric and everything. <laughs> 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 
there's a lot that's wanting to be done, but at the moment the project is just for the young people. Um, but the aim is, is to get the residents in as well, get the young people and the residents due to the, the trouble that, that's been in the past. Um, a lot of the older residents um, don't really mix, they have a bad opinion due to how it was years ago um, and it sort of stuck the bad name. So now we're trying to break that barrier now and get the older residents working with the young people so then we've got a better community then everyone working together and the older ones supporting the younger ones for them to actually take this place over and the community centre, that's what we're aiming for.